political survival is dominating the focus of Papua New Guinea's government. Despite a landslide in Inga province that, according to PNG's disaster management team, is expected to have killed more than 2,000 people. In the weekend, 18 members of parliament shifted their allegiance to the opposition, including a few ministers. A correspondent in PNG, Scott Whitey, says although he's unsure of exact numbers, there is a threat to the government. He told Caleb Fotheringham all the attention is now on the looming votes of no confidence against Prime Minister James Marape. James Marape and the government, the current government, have also gone on social media. They've posted pictures showing that they still have the numbers and that the Prime Minister is confident that he will remain in power. He has indicated very strongly that he doesn't intend to step aside and that uh, if there is any challenge to be made it has to be on the floor of parliament now the number of people brought over to the opposition has determined the alternate prime minister so rainbow paita has been chosen or has been nominated as the alternate prime minister uh, for the vote of no confidence that uh, is expected to happen and that has meant that yesterday they would have been a vote of no confidence, but because of the change in the uh, alternate prime minister candidate, uh, the opposition had to file another motion naming Rainbow Paita as the alternate prime minister candidate for the opposition. So that is where we're at right now. Has there been any indication of when this vote of no confidence will take place? Possibly. It, I, I don't think it'll happen this week. I mean, the, the week's too, much of the week has been spent already. Uh, it, it may be in the next sitting of parliament. I'm yet to find out when. In terms of this political situation, how has this affected what's going on in Inga? Are people talking about Inga, the politicians, or is the focus just what is happening now in Port Moresby, really? Yeah, that, that was one of uh, one of my concerns over the weekend because in a space of just 24 hours, the attention shifted from 400-plus people dead in Inga to uh, horse trading in Waigani. So I- the attention both on social media and in the, in the discussions that are happening in public and, and in, on the floor of parliament, all of that attention just shifted from Inga to the vote of no confidence. I was speaking to a few government ministers, just asking them if uh, the how this was going to impact on the service delivery and how this was going to impact on the relief work that was happening in Inga. So one of them said that uh, instructions had been given to the, to the defense minister to coordinate the relief work via the Defence Force and and Police and the National Disaster Operations because the National Disaster Operations come under the Defence Force. But he said, I am concerned that the the attention has shifted, but uh, we're hopeful that uh, things will work out positively and that work will be done to help the people in Anger. Are people on the ground thinking this is pretty bad taste? I, I can't really say. I, I haven't been able to assess uh, how people are feeling right now yet. But generally, you, you can expect some kind of sentiment like that with attention shifted. People in Port Moresby not really affected by the situation in Anger, but people on in the province would be quite concerned that attention has shifted from them to Waigani politics. Yeah, do you think this could affect the politicians' long-term survival? You know, obviously, the they're fighting for it at the moment, but it seems like maybe it's a bit short focused. Yeah, that's the nature of PNG politics. You know, everybody will look at the short term survival to, to stay in power at least and then go back to do other work. So, yeah, that's, that's the unfortunate situation that we have to deal with. Ha- has there been any discussion of putting this on pause while the Inga situation gets dealt with? Uh, highly unlikely. Highly unlikely. There's uh, Nobody's talking about Inga right now. It's just all uh, political survival.